Now today is actually quite exciting. Well, I think it's more terrifying than anything. I'm but... pretty excited. <laughs> but I'm going to have Anna build her first ever gaming PC. Now she's never built a computer before, um, and she hasn't, I mean, she says she's watched me, but she's not really watched I've me watched do I've watched him build like seven PCs by now. Yeah, you've seen build she montages in my videos, not I actually. <laughs> it's gonna be a copyright. <laughs> okay, but. Oh. <laughs> Can you tell that Anna's already been complaining? Okay, so. <laughs> Now, first things first, we're gonna do a quick overview of the components that we're going to use for this build. Now, I haven't done an Intel build on this channel in a really long time, so I decided, yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Um, it's quite difficult justifying a mid-range Intel build at this point. Hashtag play more in the comment section. But um, yeah, we're gonna have Anna do an Intel build. And I think to switch things up a little bit, we're gonna have Anna introduce the components. For the CPU, we have an Intel Core i5-9400F. For the SSD, we are using a WD Blue SSD. M.2 M M M drive. M.2 drive, got it. For the RAM, we have 16 gigs of Vengeance LPX, DDR4 RAM. Yeah, For the cooler, we're using, or the CPU cooler, we're using a Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition, which he's bought like seven of these. But I've never had the RGB one, so that's Seven is exciting. kind of my favorite number today. I've said it twice, because I've also said you've done seven Oh, you've bills. said seven twice? Oh, wow. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> For the power supply, we're using an EVGA 65, 650 B3. Yeah, it's... Okay, bronze power supply. <laughs> For the motherboard, we've got a Gigabyte Z390 Gaming X, which is... Yeah, some cool people looking. may be upset at the fact that I'm using a Z390 motherboard for an i5-9400F, but I don't have older Intel CPUs lying around, and I didn't want to have to worry about flashing a new BIOS onto a board, so that's just, you know, it's straight out of the box compatibility was the reason for that motherboard choice. None of that makes sense to me, but that's cool. <laughs> it's to make it easier for you, pretty much. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, for the GPU, we've got a Gigabyte Radeon RX Vega 56, gaming OC8G, yeah. 8 gigabytes? Yeah, 8 gigabytes, eight yeah. Gigabytes. And I th oh, think... Oh, and then we have some cable mods! Bye! Some cable mod extension cables. Cable mod extension cables. Oh. And we've got a screwdriver and a pair of scissors and a torch. <laughs> oh, and the case! <laughs> oh, For the, the case! case. <laughs> <laughs> we're using a Fantex Eclipse P300 series. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test... Make a test computer. Right. Well, I mean, that's that's close kind of. enough. So what we're going to do is no, no, we're no. going to... I want to say it because oh, okay. I think I know. We're going to take the motherboard out, put the motherboard on here, and then we're going to put everything onto the motherboard and see if it works. Yeah, the so work, you, you, right? do a, you do a test build before you put it into a system. <coughs> into Told a you I've seen like seven of your balls. <laughs> I listen okay. to you, Oh. I mean... <laughs> this is actually... I, oh, so don't put it on the anti-static bag. Put it, put it straight on the box. Yeah, like that. And pro this tips. Is, yeah, Sorry. pro tips, right? <laughs> but this is actually a really good looking motherboard. I really like the aesthetic. It is. Gigabyte kind of nails the aesthetic of their motherboards. Yeah, um, they do. But yeah, it's, it's actually one of the cheaper Z390 boards. Um, it's quite cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is now you're going to take the CPU and you're going to get the CPU out of the box. And I'm going to drop it first, right? Yeah, no, I mean, that's a very important part of this entire process is, is dropping it. How do you... Okay, so you put you push the clip down, and then pull it. Yeah, and then open it. Oh, don't don't take that off yet. <laughs> well, I shouldn't sound so panicked. Um, okay, what if so your finger touches that? Try not to. It's okay. It's My not, whole it's finger not... just like rubbed against them. <laughs> Giggity. Okay. So what you so what you're gonna do is there should be a, so there's a little triangle in it's, the bottom corner. It's there. Yeah. Okay, and then, as you can see, there's a triangle on the motherboard, <gasps> so you line those up with each other. Wow. And then you just gently place it down. This is really scary. I'm very... Okay. Okay, there we go. Good job. You installed your first ever CPU. That's very exciting. Next, what we're going to do while Anna entertains herself with the clips is install the RAM. So I think this is a good time to do this. Now, we did actually check in the motherboard manual and you have to use A1 and A2. So it's those two slots on the right. Okay. So question, 
Uh, which way around does the ram go? That's a very good question. So you see, there's a little there's a little lip there in the middle. You have to line it up to the. Ooh. Okay, so it's the same round. Should yeah, yeah. You have to no, but you have to push it until the clips close themselves. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. That's horrible. There we go. It, it's not it's not pleasant. Okay, so I've just unscrewed. I mean, darn. This one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there's okay. a sticker. Yeah, so that, because <gasps> that's thermal pad, so you need to take that off. Okay, okay, and then you can put this just down, like anywhere. That one. Um, so you have to check. Yeah, so you use that one over there. And then you mount the SSD. Okay, and then you just kind of screw it down. A very important part about a CPU cooler installation is the actual manual. So you're going to check the manual and it'll tell you what components you need to install for the socket that you have. And then you can get them ready so that you don't okay. have to look for stuff. Okay, so it says here you're using this socket. Right? How do we know? Um, because... Um, oh, there it says. Oh, does it say the socket? Um, but yeah, so then you have to look at the letters there. And then you have to get those components ready. Okay, so we have to get B, D, E, F, H, I. Yeah, yeah so the only way that it fits on is the oh right way. Gosh, that's actually super satisfying because it even like... <laughs> and, and yeah, it even has like the, the right amount of times you have to click it. Yeah. It's quite nice. Okay, so the Intel... It's gotta go. It's gotta go that way. <clears throat> so let's pick it up. Ooh! Let's pick it up again. I just tripped over my PC there. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! There we go. Good job. Well Fits. done. And it looks like it's going to smash those pins at the back there. Are they not important? Uh, they, they are important, but it, it won't. Don't worry. Okay. And then you need to gently place the motherboard down without having the backlit fall out. There we go. Oh, very well done. Thank you. And okay. now you can carry on with the build process. All right. So now it says we take these guys and we put them on screws okay so Anna you have to now apply the thermal paste are you ready okay so you've excited. got that you take the little cap off and then it, have some on me? it just it just goes everywhere like it really there's no way about it okay so and it then says, a small bead God, I'm shaky, I am. Well, that's okay More? Yeah, just careful. Uh, oh, okay, okay, that's already quite a lot, but that's fine. It's not too much. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Do you do It's oh, so <laughs> satisfying. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. But you're not going to tighten it all the way. Kay. So remember, you, you do about two screws. And then per... two screws, two screws, two screws. Yeah, in an, in an X pattern. Okay, I, I remember... Feels like brain surgery. Oh yeah, one thing that you yeah, but it's kind of it's okay. Okay. But it's, so if you look at the cooler now, wait, wait, don't start screwing yet. The cooler isn't mounted the right way around. So a really good way to but it gauge. Says... Yeah, but look at the orientation of the motherboard. So a really good oh. way to a really good way to gauge uh -huh. is this symbol. Uh -huh. The the branding needs uh -huh. to be the right way up. So if the motherboard is going down, this needs to be legible. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, this is this is also one of those pretty unfun parts. The, just the whole CPU cooler mounting process. Okay, let's get the guy there. time okay and the fan goes here and the little thingies go yeah so like that's good if you can orient the cables down so that they kind of get out of your way but try and lead them the other way around because they need to come here and okay. down that way that sound is fairly abrasive that doesn't feel good oh it's fine Okay, so the microphone wasn't on for a lot of the filming, which is really irritating. But we've got the graphics card in here. As you can see, Anna seated it very well. Um, it, it went slick. 
it went click. Yeah, that's very a very important, important part. Um, so we've got a Gigabyte Vega 56 in here, which is a really good value GPU at the moment. Um, I got this one for less money than you're paying for a GTX 1660 Ti, and I just think it's a really good purchase. Um, yeah, the only quite irritating thing about it is that the orange doesn't match up with the red on the motherboard. But you know, I, I, it's, not a, it's not a huge deal. And now Anna has unboxed the power supply, which we have here, and now she's going to plug in the modular cables. Okay, so this one's for the CPU. Yes. From what Thomas told me, I didn't <laughs> just know that. <laughs> and even if you have a eight pin and a six pin, uh, an eight pin and a four pin, sorry, um, you only really need to use the four pin. Um, that's one of Buildzoid, like the motherboard reviewer guys, like favorite things to talk about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, don't worry about it. Just one 8-pin should be enough, even if you're doing heavy so overclocking, it's not a problem. do I put it in there or in there? Uh, or in, over the in, two of them? No, 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 in, in the 8-pin. Okay. Hey, Nico. <laughs> yeah. Do they both go in? Yes, so you have to plug both Ugh. of them in. That's not like the CPU power cable. You have to plug in all the ca power cables that your graphics card needs. Or has, rather. Why do they like detach them? Why don't um, they just because you get six pins as well, so that it, so that it works on. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it's actually quite like a lot of graphics cards have like an eight pin and a six pin, so then that separate bit is mm -hmm. there for that. And a bit of a design flaw on this graphics card: the shroud on the cooler here makes it really, really difficult to get the actual 8-pin power cable in there. <laughs> <laughs> to get the 8-pin power cable in there. Uh, but we did finally get it in. I and rage quit, though. Yeah, and I rage quit. I had to take over. <laughs> Fair enough. I rage quit so regularly <laughs> with <all the> PCs. <laughs> okay, so now comes the exciting part. We're going to plug that in, and then we're going to see if all the components work. Okay, so this is always a good sign when the ambient lighting on the motherboard starts showing up. Uh, when you have the motherboard plugged in. So because this is a more entry-level motherboard, you're going to have to jump it with a screwdriver. I see I see you're very ready. I'm ready, yo. Yeah. Okay, so as you Don't can... Don't tell me. Here. And... Oh! Oh, is it on? Yeah. That's exciting. Now let's see if it boots. Here we've got LEDs tell? that tell... You've got LEDs over there that tells us what's happening. And maybe because there's no windows... Like no boot device. Now it's on boot. Oh, is it on boot? Yeah, it's on boot. Okay, cool. I think that means everything works. That's very exciting. So now what we're going to do is we have to move this all into the case. <clears throat> yeah, good job. High five. Well done. Yay! <laughs> I'm so jealous that you get to build in that case. I've always wanted to build in that I'm case. I'm excited. Um, to be fair, I'm more excited now that I know that you want to build in it than I oh, get really? to. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so what we're going to do... Oh, I'm just gonna go, there we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug all these cables because we have uh, sleeved extension cables that we're going to use. Oh, I'm really so we'll sad that, that we have process. to unplug this goddamn graphics card. Yeah, but I mean, I think it'll be easier with those cables. Um, <sighs> I think it should be easier. And then we can take the graphics card out as well, and then we're going to unbox the case, and then we're going to build it in there. Now I turn this upside down. Okay, yeah, so this is actually very... Wait, I want to do it. Okay. I think I can. Turn it over a cake. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. There we go, good job, good job. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, I think we're gonna start with the power supply. I quite like putting that in first. Um, so you're gonna open the back. The back? Of the case, yep. You open the back of the case, you're gonna unscrew it. I think Nico just got into. <laughs> He just climbed in there to go play with all the plastic. Hey, buddy. Nico. <laughs> okay, so here we have Anna doing her first PSU installation. That's very exciting. So this is a fairly small case, so it is a bit of a tight fit down there. Um, Should I unplug these first? They're, if you have very little space, they're really difficult to get to. Yeah. This yeah, so I think what we should do first is remove that whole cage because mm. we're not going to have any normal hard drives in here so. and um, then we'll have more space for cable management.
Oh yeah. Torch. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. Nice. But that's okay. We're still we're still making progress. Okay. Ah! Sorry. I feel like I, I'm slowly but surely losing patience <laughs> with this. <laughs> no worries. It's like this is my weekend. Why am I doing this? Why am I not knitting? It's in. Okay. Good job. Yay! Well done. Now, what part do you think's next? The motherboard. Oh, very good. Yeah. So the motherboard's next. Now, one of the nice things about this motherboard is you don't have to worry about the rear I.O. shield uh -huh. because it's built into the motherboard. Does it just go in like this? Oh, just before you put it down. <gasps> I have to unscrew something. Uh, no, you're good. The motherboard standoffs come pre-installed, so you're good. You can just put it in. Yeah! It's all aligned! Okay, very good. Woo! Okay. I have to reshuffle shuffle through all these screws to find the right ones because if they just look all the same. Uh, now one thing with this uh, with this motherboard is that it's actually slightly skinnier than a normal ATX motherboard so it means that those standoffs aren't, aren't necessary. No, oh, it's like really disappeared. <laughs> so this is also one of the Tweezers. most this is also one of the most fun parts of building a PC is that like you drop all them screws no, no. Okay, so I can just go for it. Yeah, but remember to not over tighten. Okay, then let's tighten. Yeah, so with this process, I'm not going to help her very much unless she's doing something critically wrong. Um, but when it comes to actual cable management and things, I'm not going to help her too much with it. Wrong way around. I am making your life a bit more difficult by adding these these sleeve Happy cables. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, but they look so much better. No, no, no I agree. Oh. And they weren't that expensive. Um, they, they, they're a fairly cheap addition to a case or to a build. Okay, and ooh, that looks very wonky. Oh, no, I've forgotten what the inside of a PC looks like. Yeah, to be fair, there aren't any fully assembled PCs no. standing here. There's like one on a on a table there. No, I'm gonna and do then it there's like that. that. I think it's kind of dope. Ugh. Yeah, see, so at this point, a lot of this is aesthetic preference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so does this go? I've just plop, popped that in there. Now, where does this go? Through the back here as well. Like so. <laughs> it's really difficult to not say anything. Help me. Do you want help? Yeah. Okay, so you put it I mean, you could technically put it through there. Yeah. That's not wrong. But but that, you there's put it a back. CPU hole. Okay. Yeah. So then it means that the cable's a lot more out of the way. Yeah. So now, if you see where they go, uh -huh. how do you want to route them? What would work best? Because remember, you want as little as possible of the cable to show. So al always think about it like that when you're doing cable management. So here. Yeah. Perfect. Let's slip this bitch in. Bad boy in. <laughs> Oh, that sounds horrible. Okay, so now we just have the graphics card power to plug in, and then the side cap, side panel cables, not cables, the side panels, and then I think we're done. Now oh, we're in business. Ah, uh -huh. there we go. Nice and easy. Okay, that's so exciting. Now, we have one more thing that we need to do. Front panel, cable uh, panels. Which is the front panel, yeah. Okay, this is looking really good. And with that, I think it's time for, not build montage, but B-roll.
Oh, we got a peel. <laughs> okay. Did Let's it. See. That's always yummy. Extra crinkly. 